Well, good morning, my darlings. I hope you're all very, very well and that you have had a lovely start to the week. Today is Monday and it is a half working day. I say half working day because we are having a super productive morning and then I am heading to Soho Farmhouse to have lunch with some friends and hopefully spend the afternoon in the glorious sunshine because it is not every day that the UK experiences such glorious weather and we definitely want to make the most of it. So you may be thinking, Josie, I recognise that dress, but I'm pretty sure you said you couldn't get it. <laughs> this is from the H&M Brock Collection um, collaboration. And yes, I did do a, a full unboxing of the pieces that I managed to purchase from the H&M Brock Collection. But even though I went on the website literally three minutes after the collection went live, this dress, which is the one that I really, really wanted, had already sold out. And one of my wonderful followers, Humonga shout out to Daniela, actually wrote underneath the video that she had managed to purchase this dress in my size, but it wasn't quite right for her and that she was planning on returning it. So I said, please, Daniela, let me buy it from you. And <laughs> she agreed. So I have bought this, <laughs> so I bought this from Daniela. And I'm so, so grateful because it is just absolutely gorgeous. It has got the lovely design detail from the Brock collection like this. It kind of looks as though it's boned, um, but it's actually not. The beautiful floral pattern, similar to the others, there are a few small things that I'm gonna have to tweak. So if you didn't see my last, um, last vlog but one, I did have to make quite a few adjustments to some of the pieces, like letting down the hems. Um, I'm gonna be changing the straps on one of the dresses. And this one isn't 100% perfect either because because we've been taking some photos outside and I got some to show the back of the dress which is this gorgeous crisscross design which means it's definitely better worn braless but the straps are gonna need on me can you see they need lifting up by about an inch which is a fairly easy job I'll be able to do that on the sewing machine but um, when that is done, I think it will fit me absolutely perfectly. I've paired it with some really beautiful, a really unusual mixture of jewellery, which is all from Missima. Let me show you in a little bit more detail. Excuse the fact that I'm so red. <laughs> UK houses are not built for these kinds of temperatures. So I am absolutely roasting, even though it's only 10 o'clock in the morning. I thought it'd be easier for all involved if I <laughs> pop you up on the bathroom window to show you my jewellery. So I had a delivery from Missima yesterday it arrived on a Sunday I was blown away and it was a selection of their beautiful new pearl pieces and also one of their newest collections is this spectacular beaded collection I'll show you the full collection a little bit later but just to show you what I'm wearing with today's outfit of the day so I have gone for this mixture of necklaces here so these are from the beaded collection and then you can see the very very elegant twisted pearl earrings and very classic pearl chain necklace and then again on my wrists I've got a mixture of pearls and beads and it's the the perfect balance for this kind of outfit where it's really fresh and fun and summery but also very elegant and classic so I feel like it just perfectly summarizes my style during the summer months so I love it however now that we've shot this photo these photos I am far too warm I'm gonna get changed I'm gonna try on a new bikini that's just arrived and see if it is suitable for an afternoon by the pool at the farmhouse To be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. A quick outfit change later, and we are on the road. And you might be thinking, Josie, that doesn't look like your usual car. Well, darlings, it is not. Sadly, I must first of all caveat this is not my new car. I wish it was. I am test driving. <laughs> I'm test driving my dream car. It is. Oh my gosh, it's surreal. This is the Bentley Bentayga and <laughs> I'm a little bit speechless. So this has been my dream car ever since I first saw it, which I think was probably around four or five years ago. It has always been my dream car. As you know, we have a Mazda and I absolutely love it. I won't hear a bad word said about Mazda because honestly it has been the most fotastic car for us. But since moving to the Cotswolds, 
I feel like you guys probably know this from my vlogs. I just love to drive around here. My my dad actually used to own a vehicle rental company um, and was very much into his cars. He actually has sports trials named after him and vehicles were always, you know, it was always his thing. And he used to do up cars when I was younger. And so I have always had a real love for cars. But it's only since moving here that I've really wanted to elevate my driving experience. And yes, I love driving in the Mazda, but I just wanted to look for something a little bit more luxurious. And in a similar way that we've kind of skipped a house by moving to where we live now, I feel that by investing in a... I was about to say Mazda. I feel that by investing in a Bentley would kind of be like skipping a car as well. But... I'm manifesting it. It would truly be a dream come true to own a car like this and I'm really really hoping that it's going to happen. So of course it is a ginormous investment. Goosebump worthy humongous investment. So I really need to test it out and make sure that I absolutely love it before making that ginormous investment. Um, we are driving Royal Wee. I'm driving to the farmhouse right now and this is probably one of the most scenic photogenic roads in the whole Cotswolds. To get from our house to the farm you have to go across this insane beautiful sweeping farmland. That's just one example but you have to go through like wildflower fields, poppy fields, it's just a spectacular drive and it has been a glorious drive in this car. We actually have a road trip later on this week so I'm going to be able to give you a full um, debrief on my thoughts on the car after that but I'll just very quickly show you what I'm seeing. So this is a kind of bluey grey contrast leather with the ivory. Um, this is the central system, I've got a bit of Harry Styles playing, it was really easy to set my phone up on um, Apple Play. Here are the dials down here. Um, it's an automatic. This is the steering wheel. I've got my sat nav in front of me and you probably, yeah, you can actually see it. Do you see there? That is the speed of the road and the speed that I'm going. Um, you've got a few controls here. I'm going to quickly, let's turn off the engine and I will show you how it looks from the outside. <coughs> So my dream Bentayga is actually in the Alpine green shade, that is the one that I have designed on the Bentley website, um, but this is the one that I am borrowing for the week and this colour is Portofino, this beautiful very Italian makes me really want an ice cream shade of blue and this one I think is quite like a, a manly styling so this one has got the black trim around the headlights and on the grille whereas the one that I have configured is actually uh, going to be silver, I think it just makes it look a little bit more elegant. Yeah I think the black give it a real sporty look to it. Um, and then something that's really cool is the beautiful detail on the seats. They've got this gorgeous Mulliner detail. You've got the Bentley logo stitched in there. So much going on back here for the back seat uh, passengers. You've got these little tables, very jazzy. Um, this section in here for your drinks. You've got, is that a TV screen? My goodness. Yeah, so very jazzy back seat area. Very comfortable, I'm sure. And then these speakers are an optional extra as well. I'll be testing them out during this week to see if it's something that I'd like to add on to my Bentley. The brand is Name. I've actually not heard of them before, which is probably really bad. But oh my goodness, the sound quality is insane. This is my little driver's cabin. You've got a B for Bentley on the brake. And when you sit down, the seat glides back into the position that you were in before. So it's um, got a good seat memory. But anyway, without further ado, I'm meant to be at the farmhouse at half past. So I'm going to get cracking and I'll see you guys when we get there. It is now many hours later. Of course, you are not meant to film at the farmhouse, so I obeyed the rules, but we had a really lovely day there. Sat, we've got a table in the sun at Penyen, not a sun lounger, unfortunately. I think we got there at about half 11 and it was 
I actually don't think I've seen it that busy like ever Skegness, before. <laughs> like Skegness. I mean, I wouldn't say Skegness, but it was it was pretty busy. Um, but we got a table in the sun at Pen Yen. We did a little bit of work. We had lunch. Very sadly, they did not have any mochi balls left for pudding. But luckily, we managed to get some last time we went to Waitrose. So I'm going to have a mochi ball now. Charlie's had a great day. Um, he had Marco from Della Vita Pizza Marco. coming over to show him how to use the pizza oven, which you'll have seen us setting up in the last vlog. So I'm very excited to try those. I think we're going to have a pizza night with friends on Friday. Um, also had a swim at the farmhouse, lots of iced coffee, but I'm going to grab a moshi ball now. Is it moshi or mochi? I reckon mochi. Mochi. I'm going to grab a frozen pistachio ball now and the sun has just come out. So we're going to take our evening walk around the garden. Some serious love going on out here. Oh. I've mm. still yet to meet a more cuddly dog. Doesn't Isn't exist. It? You're a handsome dog, but this dog is so cuddly. We've come down to the kitchen garden and Jack has been here, our lovely lady in the village who helps us with the gardening today. And she always sends us a WhatsApp to let us know what she's done at the end of the day. As you can see, she has spread out my purple sprouting broccoli. They were all very overcrowded and we've had to put this chicken wire over the top because they were very much getting attacked by the pigeons, which is not ideal. People were literally just coming here for a feast. I saw one, one was munching around the strawberries as well. So. Mm. Very naughty, so hopefully they'll be protected. Gosh, one of my peas has come through here through the thickness of the spinach. The salad bed is looking incredible. Broad beans are just absolutely ginormous. But we have to stay on top of these though, because look in here. I'll have a look at this. Oh, I know, I sprayed them yesterday though. They look so much better than they did look yesterday. How many, look how many insects on them. I know, that's aphids, but I did spray them yesterday. Well, aphids are black, are they? Yeah. So hopefully they will all start to disappear now, but I'll spray them again tomorrow morning. This is my row of beetroot, looking pretty good. And then spring onions. Um, and we've got some more radishes growing up here. I don't think we have any actual bean... Oh, we do, look. This is a broad bean pod. That is going to be, we're going to have so many broad beans. We are going to be eating broad I beans for breakfast. I know. And then over here, my peas are flowering. And then it looks like the actual pea pods come out of the flower. French beans are starting to, to really shoot now. Strawberry patch looking good. And then this floral area here with the really voluminous peonies is just quite spectacular. I mean, look at this. That is one of the most perfect peonies I have ever seen next to a, an allium that's finished flowering now. And so many buds here. We are just going to have so many peonies. That one over there looks like a raspberry ripple ice cream. But these are just giant pom-poms. So spectacular. And so many to come. We're gonna have a huge amount of cornflower when these start to flower. Lots more cosmos coming through. Wow, that is quite incredible. Look at this, can you see how it's like deep pink on the edges? Little ant on there, shoo. That really does look like a raspberry ripple. Let's have a sniff. Our evening garden walk has taken us round to this side of the house. I must say it does look rather fabulous having such a wonderful vehicle. I think, yeah, this in green will just look seriously spectacular. These roses are also just an absolute thing of beauty. Look at this. I wish you guys could smell it. This smells more wonderful than the most beautiful perfume in the whole world. The 
salvias and the cat mint are doing incredibly well. And then we've got a slightly more traditional rose shrub down here. And our climbing hydrangea is loving life over here. That strange gurgling you can hear is the irrigation that Charlie's just turning on. Well, good morning, my darlings. I am coming to you from my very sensual little negligee. I had a delivery yesterday from Blue Bella, which is a lingerie company. They asked me to choose a couple of pieces. I picked this lovely robe. Oh my goodness, you can literally see, you can see exactly my underwear underneath, which I guess is the point because they are an underwear brand. Excuse, as usual, the um, hair bubble holding together my camera. Um, but without revealing too much, I wanted to show you this gorgeous, oh, the straps have fallen down, gorgeous little brassier. I'm just going to have to shield my modesty like so. Um, but it's got this gorgeous, absolutely beautiful, very elegant lace detail. Um, and then it's kind of like a balconette style, a little bit sheer, hence my hand positioning. And then this gorgeous, really lovely lightweight robe with this kind of silk um, trim. So this is what I have been wearing while doing my makeup this morning. I'm not going to bother doing anything with my hair. It's going to be back in a low bun. We are going to be driving most of the day today because today is road trip day. We're heading down to Sussex to Fair Oak Farm. Um, they are hosting, it's called the Reset Retreat, and it is a press stay. I was invited very kindly, and a few of the girls are going to be there. So it's going to be a really lovely couple of days. I'm very much looking forward to the drive in the Bentley. Not sure actually if I'm going to keep this lovely lingerie brassier on because I might wear something a little bit more open on the top. Potentially this dress from Anne Louise Boutique. I had something similar or have something similar from a couple of years ago which I love. Oh I can probably show you a little bit better here. These are the other bits that they very kindly sent over. We've got this lovely floral lacy bra. As you can see very sheer but just absolutely beautiful. I went for a black version as well. I don't usually wear black lingerie but I thought this looked rather gorgeous and I have a feeling this one is going to be my favourite. It's just so dainty, so delicate. So I decided to go for my Zimmerman dress. I'm going to be driving most of the day so I need to be comfortable um, but I'm probably going to end up scraping my hair back into a bun with my visor, taking this road trip very seriously. I'm now going to add my accessories and I'm still wearing my gorgeous necklace combination from yesterday, the lovely pearl pendant and also this beautiful beaded necklace from the Missima collection. So this is the latest collection from Missima. It is all about self-expression this summer, wearing pieces that make you feel good. And I'm such a believer in that when I'm pulling an outfit out of my wardrobe, it can literally be the coolest outfit in the world. But if it doesn't make me feel good, then I will put on something different. And jewelry is the same. Jewelry is all about five people can be wearing the exact same jeans and a t-shirt, but your jewelry is your way of adding your own personality, adding that self-expression. So for me, Jewelry has always been such a huge part of my outfits, of my fashion, and it really, it really does have the power to totally switch around an outfit. And this new collection from Missima is just so fun. It just makes me think of summer dreaming, these incredible Technicolor. It makes me think about travel. It makes me think about going abroad. And there's also a little hint of nostalgia and real playful fun about this collection. So let me show you a few of the additional pieces. I've got some of my favourites here. This one I feel like is the most nostalgic from the collection. Is this beautiful bracelet. As with all Missima pieces, I feel like this is really different from a Missima collection, but as with all Missima pieces, they all just stack together and layer together so perfectly. I'm gonna add that one on in a second. Um, and then if you want something just a tiny bit more classic, then I think these two are a really lovely combination as well. I'm gonna leave all of these pieces linked down below. I've just chosen my favorites, but there are so many on the website, so I definitely recommend checking it out. I have seen a lot of people start to wear this kind of jewelry on Instagram. I feel like it's gonna be the jewelry trend of the summer. So I love the bracelets, and I feel like you can totally go wild and just mix together so many bracelets from this collection. Um, but then, 
like I did yesterday, I think it's so nice to mix in these more kind of playful, fun necklaces with something a little bit more traditional, something a little bit more classic, like the pearl. I think today, because my dress is so colourful, I'm just gonna, just gonna wear the two necklaces. So I've got this one here, which I'm gonna add the matching bracelet, and then my pearl again. Ooh, my gangly thing looks like it's coming back a little bit. <laughs> But I'm going to pop these in my suitcase because I'm going to be mixing and mixing and matching these over the next couple of days. I kind of feel like I'm going on an old school summer camp, like from, from Parent Trap, wearing my nostalgic, gorgeous beaded jewellery. Heading down to camp, it literally feels so perfect. And I feel like that's what Miss Summer as a brand is all about. It's all about evoking that sense of excitement, fun, confidence. That is certainly how I feel when I wear the pieces. So I'm thrilled to be working with Miss Summer on the launch of this collection and I'd love to see how you guys style it as well. I've styled mine with pearls and kind of boho style dresses but I'm sure the cool girls will stack them up over t-shirts and like neutral cami tops and things like that and even in winter over knitwear I think it's going to look gorgeous so I'm really excited to see lots of different ways of playing with this. I'm going to create my very own bracelet stack. Ooh, I've just realized I just went to put this one on as a bracelet and it's a little bit bigger. So I think this is an anklet. Oh my goodness. That really is a throwback. I have not worn an anklet since I was a teenager, I don't think. My goodness. Okay, I'm fully embellished. So I've got my beautiful necklace duo and my little bracelet duo too. And then on the other wrist, of course, the Josie Touch, I have gone for my Miss Summer Pearls again. And then I have finished off with my classic hoop earrings, my chubby hoop earrings. Because the necklace, the beaded one, has got some little gold balls in there, I thought it would work perfectly tying in with a chunky gold hoop, just to make it a little bit more classic and kind of a cool girl as well. So this is my outfit of the day. I now need to finish packing. Um, grab a lot of my sportswear because it's a kind of fitnessy retreat, load the car up and then it's time to hit the road. I was a bit conscious in the last clip that the bows on the dress looked absolutely rubbish so I have used my hair straighteners just to give them a whiz over and now they look so much better. Definitely a good little hack if you are wearing anything with bows or uh, a kind of fabric belt, just use your hair straightener, moving it quite quickly obviously so as not to burn the fabric and they will look as good as new. of driving later. Dixie, it's okay, it's okay my little boy, it's okay. Just over three hours of driving later, we have made it to the farm, we're just waiting for them to buzz us in. It was a very comfortable drive, driving will never be the same again now that we are used to this absolute beauty. Hey, I know, it's exciting, puppy holiday, puppy holiday. There is a very fine line between the angle of this hat and a sombrero, <laughs> don't you think? It does look a bit like a sombrero. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable! We have just arrived at our little cabin for the next uh, two days. It's the grain store here at Farrogue Farm. Can you take me seriously? I always think this hat just looks 
so ridiculous when I'm vlogging. I swear it's not this big in real life. And we are about to go out and explore the farm. I think everybody else who got here a little bit earlier has been doing some yoga. We're meeting everyone for snacks in the main area at four o'clock. We've got some lovely goodies here from Dash Water and Wu Fly Travel. You know Dash Water. They yeah. Use wonky veg to flavour the water. <clears throat> now, really? story, little little interlude, an anecdote. Mm -hmm. They emailed me once about three years ago. Yeah. And said we'd love to send you their cans of flavoured, like naturally flavoured water with wonky veg. Mm. And I was like, great, that'd be awesome. And he was like, would would this evening work? Anyway, the guy that dropped them off was the founder. Oh my goodness. Uh, Clapham, and he no did, way. Like, I remember that. Not, like he did it. He did loads of. <laughs> Oh, it's okay. It's okay. They're having a bit of a barking moment because yeah. there are peacocks uh, travelling around. Oh, that's yeah. cool. So it's great to see that they're, they're doing, doing well. so well. And I remember thinking, really it's a great brand idea. Because they're, they're naturally idea. flavoured, so they're basically a healthy um, alternative to like a Coca Cola or something. Nice. And then these are travel yoga mats. That's a good idea. Is it nice and lightweight? Oh, it's actually fairly heavy. I guess because it's a little bit slimmer than a normal than a normal yoga mat. Um, and then we have got, what's this? Nom and Nosh Luxury Plant Goodness. Yummy. Some treats in there. This is our living quarters. And now we're gonna take the doggies for a little stroll. Okay, it's a few hours later. Charlie and I just did a lovely yoga class. So it's actually a proper kind of retreat. And unfortunately we missed the first uh, couple of things, which were lunch and a, I think a, a, another kind of more active yoga. Cause obviously Charlie had his vaccine this morning and it took us out of the way and then it was still a three hour drive but we are here now we're settled in um and we did our first yoga class just now and it was really lovely it was yin yoga so really slow a long time in each position lots of stretching and both of us felt just so good after it so that was a great start to the retreat i've not i'm not doing anything with my hair this evening just scraping it back in the bun just quickly topped up my makeup and changed my jewelry i've switched out one of the beaded necklaces for this one from missima which is the half pearl and half um kind of gold twisted chain i've still got the hoop earrings in and still the same bracelets the pearls on this side and then I've got the beaded collection on the other side and then I've just popped on my Zimmerman dress which you may have seen before if you've watched any of my travel vlogs and now we're heading for dinner it is mostly vegan I think while we're here and um, apparently we've got a nice dal for dinner so I'm very much looking forward to that Em and Emily are also here and another of Em's friends named Christina who I'm sure I will be able to introduce you to very shortly and they are staying in a tree house which is really cool I don't think we were able to because of the doggies it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make but um, hopefully I'll be able to show you that a little bit later too anyway let's go and get some grub
my darlings. It is our first full day here at Ferrook Farm. We started the day with a glorious yoga class. How did you find the yoga, darling? I enjoyed it. It's, it's uh, Ashtanga, isn't it? Which is what it's I enjoy Ashtanga more. Ashtanga or Ashwanga? No, Ashwanga is the food supplement that we take. Oh. <laughs> but it's Ashtanga. The yoga instructor here is amazing. She has some she's got, soothing voice. Well, she's just brilliant. She's mm. really good. Um, I actually, I think the, the yoga that I thought I'd enjoy the least was the last night one, but mm. actually that my body needs the most, yeah. which was basically, was it called? Yin yoga. Yin yoga, and mm. it's like, it's really long stretching, mm. isn't it? I think we needed that, didn't we? I think that's something we should do on a Sunday. I yeah. do yin every Sunday for half an hour yeah. in our gym. I think we should start doing that. Mm. But it's beautiful. It's really wow, beautiful here. The so noise is the noises of all the birds. The odd and I peacock don't know if you could screech. See. <laughs> yeah, the odd peacock howl. Um, I don't know if you could see but there were some llamas behind us while we were doing the yoga this morning. Um, we're gonna go up, we've just had some really lovely breakfast. So we're gonna go up and do a little bit of work before a nutritional chat in an hour. I'll show you the beautiful um, lawn area as well. So relaxing. Stay till the morning light. Oh, would you follow me? Lunch is served, and across the table from me, we have the two beautiful eggs. <laughs> M&M. You girls are facing the sunshine. You're going to get the most glorious tans. Oh, I need a yeah. tan. It is yeah. so stunning. Glad to hear it. And look at these beautiful blooms. Aren't they stunning? Sweet peas. Oh, it's time for a toast. We've just had the most gorgeous lunch and now Charlie is leading the way down this beautiful little passageway. Look at the, wait, is this a rose? Or is this a yeah, clematis? That's a rose. No, a rose. Wow, it's so lovely. And they've got, they do, it's such a lovely established garden. They've got some wisteria up here as well. Um, so after lunch, we've got a lady here who's, who has given us part one already of a nutritionist chat. Um, and it was more about kind of how the brain impacts our bodies and how that connects to what we eat. And now I think it's a meal planning talk. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Sort of, it's following on, isn't it? Yeah, it's really interesting. This is all wisteria. About a week ago, this would have been absolutely insane. Yeah. So I've made myself a nice iced coffee. We've both got our larks full to the brim with nice fresh cold water. And I think we are down here for our talk. Some of the girls are staying in these really cute little um, cabins. They're just like Sally's shepherd hut at Felden Valley yeah. where we go and get our massages but these have been converted into little bedrooms. We did have a nosy inside and they are seriously cute. Oh look at this and this is where we're heading for our meal planning talk. Gosh we leave the dining area for half an hour for our talk and the peacocks have moved in. Hello bunnies. Hello. You're so lovely. of headgear for this um, this retreat. It is honestly roasting. I think it's 27 degrees today, which yes, for the UK is absolutely bonkers. Um, but we've had our nutritionist chat. We've had a lovely little picnic by the tree houses. And now it's time for a PT session. I think it's about 27 degrees right now. So this is gonna be intense. Look at this showing off going on over here. Somebody is showing off for the ladies. Hey, turn around, fancy pants. Stop showing me your booty. That is a booty and a half. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Gosh, it looks like I have caught the sun again today. I feel like I've not been very good at vlogging on this little trip. It has been kind of like a switch off, detoxy kind of a uh, couple of days, very relaxing. So I've not felt the need to get my camera out a huge amount, but I'm sorry if this gap 
this gap has been a little bit vloggy. This vlog has been a little bit gappy this afternoon. Uh, so I think as you saw, we had just a really nice girly chit chat, a uh, little picnic, and then Charlie came and joined us with the doggies and then a very intense PT session. It was seriously, oh my gosh, my legs are gonna be burning tomorrow. Um, and then we were just sitting around at the table I got on with a little bit of work. I think I showed you a little bit of the peacocks. Um, I think that was them flirting. But now I have just popped on my little dress for dinner. And then Charlie and I are embarking on the two hours and 40 minute drive home. I think we are both gonna take a strong shot of coffee before we get in the car, especially after a long hot day. I feel like we are extra exhausted and Charlie's having a massage at the moment. We're meant to be having half hour massages each, um, but being so lovely, I said that Charlie could have my half hour. So he's having a long session because he's not been feeling 100% today. Um, but I'm just wearing this really easy breezy uh, summer dress from the H&M wildflower collection i've just realized i have not put my jewelry back on after my pt so i'm going to accessorize and then it is time for dinner <laughs> 